Welcome back to Crave Leadership. Imagine a world where leaders prioritize service over status. Hmm, good question. Envision the profound impact on teams, organizations, and communities when those at the helm lead with heart to serve first. This isn't just a dream, it's a transformative leadership philosophy that can redefine success and fulfillment for every manager and executive. Today, we are examining what it means to be a serving leader. This isn't just about managing, it is about transforming how you lead to elevate those around you. Fostering an environment where respect, communication, and empathy are not just value, they are practiced. Why is this approach crucial in today's management landscape? Well, as leaders, whether you're just starting out or in a mid-level position, understanding and implementing serving leadership can drastically enhance your effectiveness and the morale of your team. By the end of our session, you'll not only grasp the essence of serving leadership, but also learn how to practically apply these principles to achieve remarkable results. Let's embark on this transformative journey together. So what is serving leadership? The term might suggest a passive role, but it's far from that. Serving leadership is an active, intentional commitment to placing the needs of your team above your own. It is about fostering an environment where every member feels valued and empowered to contribute their best. In essence, it is not just a role. It is a mindset and a lifestyle. At the heart of this philosophy is the Crave Leadership Model. It is inspired by my own experiences and extensive research. It emphasizes five critical elements, communication, respect, authenticity, vulnerability, and empathy. Let's break down each element. Communication. As leaders, our words matter. They hold power. The way we communicate can either build trust or breed confusion. Effective communication means clear, concise, and consistent in your messaging. It also involves active listening and often overlooked skill that allows you to truly understand and address your team's needs. Respect. This entails recognizing the inherent value of each individual in your team. Respect is expressed through the fair treatment, appreciation for contribution, and willingness to consider diverse perspectives. Authenticity. Authentic leaders are true to themselves and others. They're transparent about their, their values, beliefs, strengths, and weaknesses. Authenticity fosters trust and encourages the same transparency among team members. Vulnerability. Many view vulnerability as a weakness when in reality, it is a strength. Admitting when you don't do something or acknowledging when you're wrong shows humility, a trait that builds respect and loyalty among your team. Empathy. This is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. 
By demonstrating empathy, you show your team that you care about them as individuals, not just their work performance. The CRAVE model isn't just theoretical. It has been applied with impressive results in real world settings. For example, in a healthcare institution grappling with low morale and high turnover, implementing the CRAVE model led to a significant boost in team member satisfaction and retention. In another instance, a struggling non-for-profit managed to double its fundraising capacity after adopting serving leadership principles. Now let's talk about how you can start implementing serving leadership in your role. Here are some practical steps. Model the way. Show your team what serving leadership looks like by embodying the crave elements in your actions and decisions. Empower others. Encourage your team members to take initiative and make decisions. Give them the tools and support they need to succeed. Celebrate success. Recognize and appreciate the efforts and achievements of your team members. This can greatly boost their morale and motivation. Provide constructive feedback. Help your team grow by providing feedback that is honest yet respectful and empowering. Invest in personal development. Encourage continuous learning from your team. This could be through training programs, workshops, or regular coaching sessions. Remember, the journey to becoming a serving leader is not an overnight transition. It is a continuous process of growth and self-improvement. But with commitment and perseverance, you will see remarkable transformations in yourself, your team, and your organization. As we wrap up today's session, let's recap the essential elements of serving leadership. First, embrace the Crave leadership model, communication, respect, authenticity and vulnerability and empathy. Using this will create a pathway to transforming not just your leadership style, but also the culture of your team or organization. Remember, being a serving leader is about more than just leading. It is about uplifting and empowering those around you to achieve their full potential. This approach not only enhances team performance, but also fosters a positive, supportive environment that can stand the test of challenging times. I invite you now to join the Crave Leadership Challenge. Over the next month, focus on implementing one of the elements of the Crave model each week in your interactions. Observe the changes in your team's dynamics and your personal growth as a leader. For more insights and support on your leadership journey, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll continue to explore transformative strategies that can help you become not just a manager, but a true leader. Thank you for joining me today. Embrace the challenge and transform your leadership into a powerful force for positive change in your workplace and beyond.